Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Daisy Rosas here and today we are going to be doing our makeup on my new vanity and I have no idea where I'm setting my thing up yet so I think I'm just going to do it like this. I'm on the phone right now with somebody so I might have to zip it in a little bit but let's get, let's get started because I want to try all these new products that I just bought. And I haven't been able to use any of them. So I'm like, girl, I want to try some of these new products. So we're going to do that today. So let's get our clips on and get this hair and makeup going. I love that I can literally look at myself while doing it. I do my makeup right here. Let's see. Slay. Okay, the first thing's first. So we're going to go and put our... I just washed my hands. Sorry. I love smelling my little soap. Okay, first things first, I am going to be putting my toner on my face. This is the Glow Recipe Toner. And we're just going to do like an in-depth makeup tutorial with all my new products. And I'm also going to be answering some questions that people ask me on Instagram because, duh. My eyebrows are pretty much already done. So somebody asked me what I recommend for smooth skin. So I would say for smooth skin, I would honestly just really like get a really good foundation as in like your primer, like the foundation before you start your makeup. So you could just feel smooth, poreless, you know what I'm saying? So get like a good moisturizer. So I'm trying the La Roche Posay. Like I've never tried this. Usually I use my CeraVe, you already know. But this time I'm going to be trying this. I also use sunscreen on my face. And I also use a, um, I don't really use a serum, but I use toners and drops. Sorry, one second. One eternity later. Anyways, guys, I just got off a call with this, with this man. And his name was Mr. Bang. That's so interesting. But anyways, he was just helping me out with some stuff that I need to handle really quick about my life. So now we're going to continue with our little makeup tutorial. So I'm going to use the La Roche Posay for the first time on my face. And I already put in my toner, my little glow drops. So I'm just going to put this, a little bit of sunscreen, and then primer. And then we're just going to go in. Ooh. Okay, I love the feeling. It's like a thick kind of cream. So it really does make me feel like I'm getting like moisturized. Wow. Okay, skin. So now I'm going to go in with my Innisfree sunscreen. And y'all, I'm on my period so bad right now. Like, literally i'm cramping like i'm cramping i think i need to get a freaking i need to bring out my dome a heating pad because this shit is not it i haven't had my period like okay let me tell you all something i am um anemic which means um you kind of have like low iron you kind of like you know when you're on your period you bleed a lot like just like stuff like that and it's just something that i've struggled with ever since i was like in middle school or something and i will literally go sometimes i'll go months without not having my period and then boom i'll have it for like a whole month and it would just be like blood 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 or it'll be like a whole week and the whole entire week i'm just like a whole lot of blood like it's like a crime scene and there's no way that i'm being able to like build up my iron in enough time so then i became like anemic or just like i have like like just problems and stuff like that but anyways that's not the point the point is that is that my stomach is freaking hurting and i'm cramping and it feels like people are punching things out of my stomach and I'm like, but anyways moving on so that was my Innisfree sunscreen, La Roche Posay, and let me tell y'all, that shit feels so good. Like, I really like this lotion. Like, it's giving. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go in with our Grip um, Primer by Elf, and we're just gonna put this a little bit of everywhere on our face, and we're gonna blend this in, and then we're gonna let it sit for a little bit because it does need to get a little sticky. Well, it's already pretty sticky, but I want it to get even more like tacky but um yeah anyways so we're gonna go ahead and do this boom 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 just like that and then i'm gonna go ahead and while this is drying i'm gonna do my eyebrows i kind of did a little bit i did them earlier this is the brand bebe 
and my mom got me this from Ross and it works so freaking good on my eyebrows y'all like it works so good if not and you want an alternative use the NYX glue use the NYX glue it's only like nine eight dollars and it works so good and not only that they actually have one that's a tinted one that's like the actual eyebrow color of like your eyebrow hairs and it'll like darken them up for you if you need that or if you want that I already have pretty dark eyebrows so I don't really need to fill them in or have the desire to like brush them with color because I already have pretty dark ones. I also don't fill in my eyebrows at all. I don't know if y'all know that, but I don't fill in my eyebrows just because I feel like I don't want to. And that's it. I just don't want to. Um, I do have stuff to fill in my eyebrows. I just don't do it. Because I don't know, every time I feel like I do it and then I'll try to clean it up with the concealer and all that stuff, I feel like it just comes out so like messy around my eyebrows and stuff which is also why i want to shave my face because i feel like people say that it makes your application of your makeup go on so much better and i want that i want that for myself because who doesn't want their makeup to be coming out on point you know what i'm saying so now i'm just gonna go ahead and brush up my eyebrows i already put the gel on them and now i'm pretty much just laying them down and telling them telling them to chill out anyways so yeah that's those are my eyebrows and I'm done. And now my face is pretty much like good. And now I'm going to be trying this new ass product. And I'm so freaking excited. I've never tried Too Faced. I've never had high end makeup. Like this is me barely tapping into high end makeup. Like barely. And I've been doing makeup for already like a year now or two. So yeah, that just goes to show that we're, you know, upping our beauty guru vibes because i used to go to ulta and stay in the ulta sections all the time and drugstore sections like i wouldn't go to like the other side of ulta where like the kylie and like clinique are like no but today we splurged well the other day i splurged and i got this Too faced i'm in the shade vanilla and we're gonna be trying it out today hopefully this girl color matched me right because i trust her so we're pretty much just gonna go in right here i'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit <gasps> yo i don't know if this is my color yo <gasps> i just want to put it a little bit here mainly where i have like um little tiny blemishes around here yeah i really hope this ends up being my color at the end because this don't feel like it's my color <laughs> dude i don't know if it's my color uh, anyways now i'm gonna wet my beauty blender If y'all don't do this, why? So it defeats the purpose of having to go and wet it in the actual thing. Like in the sink, you know? I just do like that. Bing, bang, bada boom. Just the whole world, wow. You step in a room, hustle, baby. Oh, actually, this might be a perfect match. This straight up might be a perfect match, bro. Oh my god. She's blending. I like it. It feels good. Let's see if it's buildable. Because everyone says that this Too Faced concealer is buildable. So, girl, let's see it. Let's see it. One thing I don't really like is that the freaking tail of the thing, it doesn't pick up that much product. Like, because I'm used to, like, the e.l.f. part of it. And that thing has so much product on the end of it. So, that's, like, what I'm used to. But, yeah, guys. Also, what's, like, your main like what is your favorite thing to do of like your pastime because i feel like my favorite pastime thing to do is literally to either like um watch movies cook or clean like i literally like cleaning like i like organizing my room decorating like all that stuff like that brings me so much like happiness it makes me feel like my whole freaking world is like clean and just everything like that because yeah now that this shade is mixed in it's in the shade vanilla vanilla now i'm gonna go in why do i look weird on camera i don't know i look like a ghost i swear i'm not this white anyways now we're gonna go in with our fenty mocha 03 i also want to try any bronzer i always say this but i haven't ran out yet this is how much i have left so soon, I am going to need a new bronzer. But for now, we're still using this one. But I think I really want to try the um, Mario, Makeup by Mario. Or I really want to try 
Um, what other bronzer is there? I don't know. Y'all got y'all gotta let me know which other bronzers there are because I've been sticking to the same one that I have. Also, I got new brushes. And I'm gonna try to use this one for my bronzer and see how it comes out. Honestly, this isn't that bad. But I kind of still like because like this one's more little, but I still kind of like really like the one that I use, which is like this bigger one because it kind of just gets everywhere. So I think I still like this one better, to be honest. To be honest with you, this can be for like other stuff, like blush or something. And then I also like using, instead of using this one for my forehead, I'll use this guy because it literally goes back like that. Look, boom. It's literally for contouring your face. Bro, I'm over here like, follow my makeup routine. Follow the way I do my makeup. My makeup comes out like complete dog. Yeah, that's not my fault. That's not my fault. I didn't say to follow me. I'm just kidding. Now, we're going to go ahead and bronze our nose. Okay, the one thing I do love is bronzing the hell out of my nose. And I literally just do two lines and then the one right here. And then I'll go up and try to make like a little tiny button nose. Because everybody loves button noses. I love button noses. It looks super freaking cute. And it makes your nose look snatch. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. This is a whole while we step in the room. Hustle, baby. Anyways, guys, now we are going to be trying. We're going to be doing our Rare Beauty blush. But then I'm also trying a new blush on top of this, which is going to be the Too Faced blush. So we are going to be trying that today. I love it. It looks so beautiful already. And I haven't even put it on. But we will be putting it on together. And I'm gonna go ahead and dabble this in. I love Rare Beauty Blush so much. Just look how beautiful it is. And it just glides on there so effortlessly and nicely. And it's so blendable. Like, just look at that. I'm also gonna do the other side very quickly. Because everybody knows that this found I mean, this foundation. This blush, look, he does. The one thing that I don't really like about this blush is that it dries quickly. So, like, if you are trying to be on some quick, quick... You gotta just, you gotta blend it out quickly. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just gotta get it done. But I love it. Guys, I am so excited. We're literally on the road to 500 subscribers. I know I keep saying that, and I'm literally gonna say it until we hit 500 subscribers. But we're literally on the road to 500 subscribers. Anyways, guys, now I'm gonna be going in with the sample that she gave me. This is the Tarte in the shade Light Medium. I'm gonna be using this for under, my under eye. I also want to use, I don't know if I should use a brush or if I should use a blender. <sighs> decisions, decisions. Okay, I'm gonna use the back of my finger to grab some product. And I'm gonna go one, two, and three. Okay, this is way, I don't know if this is as bright as I want it because I really like a bright under eye. I don't know about y'all, but I'm a bright under eye kind of girly. And this isn't giving that bright. Or maybe it is, I don't know. <laughs> Um, because what I'm seeing in the camera is different when I'm seeing like right here on my cat on my like in person on the mirror You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah So we're gonna go ahead and blend this in on my chin But not on my but not on my under my eyes yet because I do want it to get a little bit tacky so then it could like Really look good now. I'm just doing my eyelashes and I'm using this little tiny um eyelash curler i got this off of amazon for like five dollars and it comes with like the little brush so i really like it i feel like it really makes my eyelashes like separate where i want them to be separated if that makes sense because my eyelashes are really long but now see look before when we curl no curl before no curl and i'm gonna go in with my sky high mascara my bestie gave me this she didn't want it anymore so i was like i'll take it off your hands don't even worry so I did. And I'm just going to go right here on the tips of my eyelashes. I don't really go all the way to the root of the eyelash. I only go on the tips. And this is what Mr. Douse has showed me on TikTok. So that's what I do. Um, 
and yeah i'm also gonna try a new technique of how i'm gonna like overline my lips so we'll see if i make it look good because if i don't then girl i don't it's gonna look like she's it's gonna look real bad the only thing i don't like about the sky high is that this is so flimsy like i wish it was like a little more stronger and it made me feel like it was more secure or something but yeah okay guys just again on the tips of the eyelashes the eyelash girlies um i wanted to go see the barbie movie today but i think i'm gonna wait to see it with my cousin next thursday and i'll make a video about that and getting ready and stuff and i'll just make a whole video like when she's here because i love my cousin so much like home girl i miss her me and my cousin grew up together like her name's brianna if you guys don't know who i'm talking about but me and her grew up together we lived together for lots of parts of our lives we literally lived together pretty much until i moved out because i lived with my grandma i didn't live with my mom um, I'm also not going to talk about why I didn't live with my mom. If you want to know, then guess what? You should have asked a question on my Instagram. But she didn't. So, um, not me salty that nobody even cares to ask me questions. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm a little salty. I wanted uh, somebody to ask me questions. Okay, this is a nice concealer. Don't get me wrong. I like it. I like it. Like, don't get me wrong. I like it. But it's not bright. It's not bright at all. Like, it's giving just, like, the bare minimum of, like, my skin. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's giving, like, it's just not giving bright. Like, I'm going to have to go in with my Elf Hydro Camo Concealer but that is in the shade. Fair beige. See, like, this is how bright I want it to be. I want it to be fair beige. See? It's a little brighter gotten a new bronzer powder but i got a new um powder blush in the shade cloud crush and this is such a beautiful freaking blush like you guys when i'm telling you that this blush is so beautiful it's so beautiful look and it comes with the mirror as you guys can see look you can see yourself say hi vlog um now i'm gonna go in with my with my new brush and I'm going to go ahead and dabble into some of this. Oh my god. It's so beautiful. Look at it. It literally picked up the product. It's like a really coochie pink. Like, literally. Okay, let's put some on. Oh, it smells so good. It doesn't smell like candy. It just smells like... Actually... No, it doesn't smell like candy. It just smells like really like clean and fresh or something like i don't know how to describe it <gasps> look how pretty i look oh my god it's giving she's a barbie it's giving she's a barbie freaking queen princess queen oh my god omg look how beautiful just look you guys i feel so like there's times where i beat myself up sometimes because of like how i look and stuff and i'm just like girl you're beautiful like everybody is so beautiful in their own way in their own skin and everything like who cares what other people have to say about anything about you like who really cares now i'm gonna go in with my morphe bronzer that i do have and we're gonna see how this comes out because i've never worn this light of a pink so i hope it's not giving like ugly like i hope it's giving cute but if it's giving ugly, then like my bad G, like that's just what it is, you know? But I hope it's not giving ugly. Because I don't wanna look ugly. We're trying to look cute here. Okay, as you guys just saw, I just added like a bunch of bronzer to my forehead. Which is good because, girl, we need to look like we got some sun and we're looking sun kissed with this beautiful blush on. Boom. Now we're going to do our bottom of our neck to add some bronze. I like adding it to my nose. Bronze are up. Boom. Now we are going to clean up our nose and just kind of like set everything i'm gonna go in one more time with this blush i want to put some on my nose i love blush on my nose and i love blush on my forehead too i can literally add blush everywhere 
I love it. I love blush. Now we're gonna go in with the one size um little powder that I got. This is the travel size. I have not committed to getting like the actual big size. One thing I don't like about the one size, okay, y'all are gonna hate me for saying this because everyone's like one size, one size, one size, one size. It's so good. Like, how could you not like it? No, 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 no. Well, one thing I don't like about it is very chalky. It's very chalky. Like, literally, I'll go like this, and it'll stick all together. It won't break apart, and it will stay chalky on my power puff, on my puff. And then when I go to clean in, it will literally stay like that. Like, it will just stay, like, really chalky sometimes, and I just, I really don't like it. Like, I don't like when little, like, clumps like that come out you know what i'm saying like just be a powder bro like i don't know i just really don't like that about it um it's a good product i would say but i don't know i just don't like how it clumps up sometimes and then like like it separates still and now like i have pretty clear skin like it's not like oh my skin's very like um like, I have, like, a lot of acne or anything. Like, no, like, I just have acne scars, but, like, I have clear skin. Like, it shouldn't be getting all ugly, you know? I don't know. But that's just my thoughts. If you guys recommend any other types of powders, let me know because that one just really is not it. So, I don't think I am going to be committing to getting an, a big one of the one size because I don't like it. I don't. But I will be trying other types because I really like the Morphe setting powder. I really like the, um, what other ones are have I tried? The Sephora setting powder I've tried. But maybe I need to try a different one. I wanted to try the Huda Beauty, but look at, see, like, I'm telling y'all, it literally chalks up and it'll just stay. Like, look at how chalky. Like, it'll literally just stay like that on my face. Like, like, it's just so chalky. And I still have, like, a good amount of powder in there. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this makeup off my lips. I'm gonna try a little technique. This is so beautiful. I love it. I'm gonna put some more blush because, bitch, I love blush. Oh, I wanna eat this. <laughs> LOL. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and overline our lips. And I'm gonna bring you guys real close. Let me see if I can... Well, I don't want you to see my mustache hairs, but I want you to get close because I'm going to try to show you how I do my lip liner. So, what I saw the guy do, he said to basically overline hella on your cupid's bow and then match it up to your lips. Don't go, like, still out. And then the same thing on the bottom. Overline hella right here and then just naturally. So, it can kind of give you, like, a, a pucker kind of vibe, you know? I also need to put... Uh, mascara on my bottom lashes but yeah guys look at this blush it's so pretty you can still see my acne scars because i didn't use that much of the Too faced because i could have kept putting more but i didn't but anyways let's get into this let's try to see if i can do this because i've never i've never really done this <laughs> so i'm gonna try to overline the cupids will just like that and then you're gonna get like a lighter color thought i had a lighter color but i don't so we're just gonna use this but i think this is okay like it could have came out way worse but this works for me i just got this this is the nyx fat lip oil and i'm just gonna put it This also smells so good. Alright, I just did this. This is a cute red lip. And then let me go ahead and do my bottom eyelashes and setting spray and call it a day. I'll make a little TikTok because I feel so sexy and cute. Oh, I'm a J. I hate myself. I literally hate myself. Okay, I'm gonna have to clean that up. You're literally gonna grab a spoolie and you're gonna go like this. I also got the all-nighter setting spray, so we're gonna go ahead and put that on our faces today. 
But yeah, guys, these are my my lips. Tell me they don't look juicy and overlined and just like cute. Setting spray. And then I'm also going to be putting some of this thank you next on my body. Oh my god. I always do that. Mmm. Dude, this shit smells so freaking good. Oh, I can't wait to wear this. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And thanks for everything and for watching me do my makeup on my new vanity and everything like that. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe and everything like that. And let me know if you guys want me to try any other makeup products.